Well, I love the use of the rating system. I've been in the States now for about 20 years, so UTR has been over there for quite a while and people are more accustomed to what UTR is all about. Education about UTR, the rating system, is really, really important. To know that your rating is not going to go like this. It doesn't happen. It, what it does is it's a slow incline line, either a straight line if you're just stagnating as a tennis player, but if you keep playing, keep competing, if you're playing those 50 to 100 matches a year, then your rating is going to go up. So if you just put your head down and worry about the tennis and worry about playing, then everything will be fine. It helps the, the players back here in Australia improve because you're either playing players that are just below you or players that are just above you and it encourages play. It encourages you to play often and more often and that's what junior development's all about. It's about getting out there and testing yourself against players around your level. So tournament play with the UTR to me I think is a wonderful thing for Australian tennis. If you're 14, 15, 16, 17 years of age and that transition from the juniors to the seniors is coming up, you should be playing 50 to 100 competitive matches per year to really test yourself and taking those experiences back to the practice court and the practice court is where all the improvement comes from. Not every match is about the win. There are lessons to be learned in the losses, there are lessons to be learned in the big tournaments and certainly lessons to be learned in getting your player to play down I know even with Simona, straight after Wimbledon there was a tournament in Bucharest, which is a much smaller tournament, and even if Simona was to win that tournament, her ranking would actually go down because there's not enough points in that tournament to improve her average. But it didn't matter because she needed the matches, wanted the confidence for playing against players that weren't ranked as high as she normally plays against. So it was important for her to go back to that tournament and to trial some of the stuff that we're working on in her particular game. So, Having the opportunity to do that, the willingness to do that, that improves the player and lets them involve to become better tennis players. So what is more important, protecting your rating or becoming a better tennis player? It's a simple question I would ask you. If you wish to become a better tennis player and improve yourself, you need to play, you need to compete, you need to play matches, you need to get onto the court and work hard and do all the things we have speak about to become a better tennis player. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for, for kids that have those coachable assets and the ones that really want to get out there and test themselves and build that resilience and have that competitive nature about them. We want the next Leighton Hewitt, the one that wants to get on the court and, and kick your backside every time he gets out there and, and not worry too much about a ranking or a rating, especially in the junior years. We want the ones that get out there and, and play a lot, 